what's up you guys it's your girl michelle back with another video thanks for coming back to my channel today we're going to be talking about 2020 and different topics and how to move about addressing those topics in a different way <laughs> so before we get started make sure you like subscribe comment down below and let me know that you were here don't just be ghosting um, so let's get started By the title, you guys already know what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about how to move differently in 2020. So what I mean is different things happen in our life and sometimes we react a certain way. So I'm a firm believer in changing up the way you react to get a different result. You understand what I'm saying? We're talking today. I'm also going through um, some of my doula stuff because my client is currently almost 31. I mean, 39 weeks pregnant, so currently on call. Um, so I'm just going through my doula bag, making sure everything is ready. So when I get that call, um, my stuff is already ready to go. So I'm gonna be fiddling with that stuff too while we're talking. And of course I have my ginger ale that I drink more than all of it. Um, and a large cup of ice. I'm addicted to ice and ginger ale save lives before we drink it so let's talk about it so a lot of times people are like um i'm matching energy all t you know all year long uh let's think about that why am i gonna allow myself to stoop to where you are to act as petty as you are and be okay with that no we're not gonna do that we're gonna choose to not match energy this year and we're gonna choose to keep soaring high like we've been doing regardless of the energy that someone else has given us we're not giving it back this year we're not giving anybody that energy we're not giving anyone that power to have that much power over us to where we react in a way that they probably want us to react not this year People get very upset when you start setting boundaries uh, and you stop tolerating the things that they know you to use, to, they know you to tolerate. Um, whether that's disrespect, whether that's abuse, whether that's verbal, physical, like people get upset when you set those boundaries. So guess what? We're setting boundaries with no restraint. Like, if you want to be a part of my life, if you want me to be in yours and vice versa, guess what? Then this is what I need from you and this is what I will give in return. If you cannot respect those boundaries that I am now setting, I understand this. I didn't have those boundaries before, but I'm setting them now. And if you can't respect that, then guess what? Maybe this ain't what you want. Rather that's a friendship, rather that's family, rather that's a relationship. Set those boundaries with no restraints. Don't be afraid to draw that line. Either they're gonna stand with you on that side of the line or they're gonna be on the other side and that's okay too. And another thing, be okay with walking alone. And I get it, we look for friendships and um, relationships and we don't wanna do everything alone. But be okay if you have to move alone. Because sometimes the people who you think are in your corner really are not in your corner. They really cheering for you in your face. Girl, so good. But behind closed doors, it's a different story. So make sure that the people in your life are real and genuine. You don't have those issues. be okay with walking alone if that if that's what it requires be comfortable with you walking alone i can't tell you how many times i feel like i have to walk alone but i got where i needed to go to i didn't have any drama along the way be comfortable walking alone if that's where um the goal that you want if it requires you to have to walk alone because somebody doesn't respect it somebody don't understand it oh well then so be it also understand this everybody is not going to get and um understand your vision because guess what your vision is not for everybody 
Know who you can and cannot share your vision and your goals and dreams with. I think I'll post a status like the last day or two of um, 2019. Learn the value of moving in silence because everybody is not going to be rooting for you. It just is what it is. Even the ones closest to you who you think would, they won't. And that's okay. That is okay. Learn the value of not announcing your moves. Move in silence. Let your actions and words speak for themselves without an announcement. I think one of the hardest things to do is making that jump because we're, we're afraid of the unknown. And that's one of the hardest things to do is to do something uh, without knowing that it'll be successful or it'll be beneficial or, you know, it'll have that result that we ultimately want. But you have to at least try. You don't try is where you mess up. If you don't at least try, then how do you know what's on the other side of that? Because the thing about fear is fear will, will restrict you. Fear will make you succumb to that very thing that you are afraid of. So you literally have to tap into you, to the God inside of you, to tell yourself, I got this. I can overcome this. I can beat this. I can achieve this. I can succeed in this. You literally have to tap into yourself every single time in order to achieve what it is that you're trying to achieve. In order to overcome fear, in order to beat fear restricting you, uh, crippling you, you have to be brave and trust you and trust the God in you to overcome that. Otherwise, there's no other way. I read this quote one day. Um, I forget who it was by. That it sticks with me and will forever stick with me. You have to prepare your mind to be stronger than your emotions or you will lose yourself every time. And that's literally what you have to do. You literally have to prepare yourself mentally so that every time something happens and it knocks you a little bit, mentally you prepare for it. You, you did the practice for it. You did the tryouts for it. Mentally, you're there. But in, in doing that, preparing yourself mentally allows you to be strong emotionally so that you don't fall, so that you don't break down when something happens to you. And it's easier said than done. It's life. You know, life happens and sometimes the unexpected happens and it can knock the wind. It can knock the complete air out of us. But when you train yourself your mind to be stronger than your emotions, your reaction is different. Your responses is different. Rather you hear rumors about yourself or rather, you know, you get let go at a job or something doesn't fall through. Mentally, you, you prepared yourself for it so that emotionally, <laughs> oh, okay, what's next? Because you already know mentally you're strong enough. So I know my emotions are gonna be okay. I know I'm gonna not have to break down. Um, but training your, training your emotions, training that mind to be strong so that when things happen or knock you off path, emotionally you don't break down because you prepare mentally for it. I think one thing I would like to see is like, we have like these vision board parties and there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. You have to see it before you can achieve it, right? Um, but we need to address like our traumas, our hurts, all of these hurts and pains and traumas that we've had in the past. Like if we're not addre just addressing those, it's hard to achieve what we see on the vision board because there are things that trigger us, whether that be people, whether that be different words, conversations, situations, we all have triggers. And so if we don't address those triggers, how can we expect ourselves to move forward? We have to address those triggers and call them out for what they are 
and seek healing for them in order for us to be able to create some type of vision for it. And I feel like I'm just rambling, and I am, but it's been, this will be our new video for 2020, our first video for 2020. I would love to see people with like good intentions, like connect more. There's so many people that, um, they have good hearts and they mean well, but they get overshadowed by the ones that don't mean well. Essentially, um, but I feel like people are greedy out here. And when I mean greedy, I don't mean like hungry. But I mean like literally people are greedy. They look out for themselves and if you step into their lane, say you're doing the same product, instead of collabing and collectively reaching that top together, no, I want to reach it by myself. Like we have to kill that mentality. Like it's getting real oldish, okay? Sorry if you hear the children. My sons are here, my nephew is here, my niece is here, so. That's all that is. But we have to do better. Not just as a people. But in general, we have to do better. How can we prepare the next generation to come up and to be business minded and to be entrepreneurs and things of that nature? When we being petty and drama filled and everything else, like we legit have to do better. That's not a lot. You just never know. Sometimes you need a little energy boost while you are assisting a mommy and flavor, you know? You're going to change in like how you approach and how you deal with it um, in 2020. Like, did you set goals for 2020? Um, but let me know. Let me know in the comments. Not really wanting to set goals for 2020. Even matter of fact, random fact about me, I used to like dread my birthday um, because to me, my birthday used to be like a constant reminder to me of what things I did not accomplish or do that I said I was years prior. And I had to get past that and get to the point where I was just thankful to see another year because there's so many people that did not make it to their birthday. So I had to get past that and accept that there are many things that I have done and accomplished. Um, and I just have to go harder to accomplish the other things I want to accomplish. Simple as that. Why throw a pity party? No reason why, right? Mm, you just realized I don't have any chapstick in here. Um, really random. But Dollar Tree hacked for maybe doulas out there. If like one of your birthing parents or mother wants like the calm, serene setting, low lighting and things like that. Um, these little cheap flicker lights are perfect for um, setting that mood in the hospital room. Yes, you can lower the light setting, but those add like, add like another intimate touch. This is my doula bean bag that actually one of the doulas that inspired me to be a doula. Um, she actually made this herself and for me when I was pregnant and she was my doula. And now I use it for my other clients. <laughs> doula bean bags made with rice and um, in the inside. So. Typically when I'm at a birth, I um, this is the wrong scarf, but I typically wrap my hair up. Yeah, rather if it's in braids or whatever, it's up in a bun the wrong scarf which is why it's good to double check your bag but I typically tie my hair up so it's out the way I don't go be bothered with it you know you'll sweat your hair out and different things like that so just put it up put it away so you don't have to do it always bring a change of clothes because you never know what's gonna happen And guess what? Always bring a jacket. This is my North Face jacket that I always have. I always bring this jacket or um, a cardigan, a black cardigan. And a couple.
couple other things. Bring a book to read, crossword puzzle, and of course, book to take notes. And just like that, I'm done. So I know this is like a all over the place, a random rant video, but you get the picture. 2020, let's just do better, do better for ourselves, do better for relationships in our lives, and let's just strive to do better for ourselves and enjoy doing it. So, hopefully this video wasn't too all over the place. I just need to rant and chat a little bit while I got through my doula bag. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to do like a video like Show me what's in your doula bag. What do you take? What do you prepare with? You know, and things like that. Let me know in the comment section. Sure. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment to the and comment on this video. Comment down below. And until next time, your girl Shella is out. Peace.